going on guys? Chase here and today I'm going to be reviewing something for you guys and what that little something is, is this guy. This is a Zeus smart car charger. Just because it's a smart car charger doesn't mean we can't use it on motorcycles. So guys, if you haven't seen my last video that I made, I basically ordered parts and I showed you guys the install of getting a car cigarette lighter onto a motorcycle. Well, I did that video so that I could test this little guy out. If you want to see a link for the video of the install of the cigarette lighter and the motorcycle, I'll put a link in the description and something will probably pop up on the screen right now. So what is this little guy? This is a regular car charger. You plug it in and it's got two smart USB ports. We'll talk about those in a second. But the fun, cool thing about this is that it records your GPS location using an app on your phone and it will actually act like a little radar system to show you how to get to your car or motorcycle or whatever it's plugged into after you turn it off and leave it. So if you're in like a big parking lot or something like that and you have just no good memory and you totally forgot where you parked, this thing will help you out a little bit. So first off, I'll talk about the design. It looks really freaking cool. It's black, it's real streamlined, and with where I installed my cigarette lighter on my motorcycle, it fits in perfect and you don't even notice it if you're not looking for it. Speaking of installing, there's not really an install process with this little guy. It's plug it in so that it gets power, you download the app from the app store or whatever, and then on the app store you hit connect and it will just connect to your phone and then you're good to go. The way this guy works is it uses your phone's GPS and when the power gets cut to this guy, it basically records a little pin of where it got turned off and that way the app records that as the last location for your car or vehicle or motorcycle in this case. It's pretty freaking cool. I will admit though, when I first ordered it, I thought I could use it to like track the bike if it got stolen because you guys know I've got a problem with that. So it can't do that, but that does not mean it's any less cool. So one of the things I really like about this product is the smart USB chargers that I kind of mentioned a second ago. The reason I like that so much is because I'm looking at using this product with a lot of different type of electronics and most of those are going to have some different level of charge that is optimal for each of those devices. Whether that device be a GoPro, my iPhone 6 Plus S, an iPad, I can't really think of a situation where I would need an iPad on a motorcycle, but whatever. Everything's gonna have a different charge. What this little guy is gonna do is actually detect what item it's charging in each port and then give that USB device the correct amount of charge that it needs or that it's supposed to have. So the main purpose that I see me using this is I've got a GoPro that I wanna look back at me so I need to plug this into a power source and it will never die. I will literally be running out of SD card space before I run out of actual battery, unless the bike dies. I'm not gonna worry about that. But at the same time, I want to be charging my phone as well because I'm out listening to music, using GPS. My phone battery is gonna die quick, especially if I'm looking at spending an entire day in the mountains. This way, I've got one smart charger charging my phone at whatever amperage it's supposed to have. And then I've got the other charger charging my GoPro. I am in love with this thing. I am super excited to be using it from now on because now I have an unlimited battery source for my GoPro. I'm never gonna have to bring those little battery packs in my book. I literally, look, I literally have a battery pack sitting right here for when I go on little trips or I go somewhere and my phone's almost dead. I, always, I have these everywhere. Now I don't need them because I can charge my phone on my bike. So I say all this stuff and it's like, oh my God, it's perfect. It's not, here's my downside. So one of the downsides of using this in the way that I have my bike wired is my cigarette lighter port is always on. It's directly connected to the battery so there's always power getting pulled out. I have to just pull this thing out just a little bit so that the lights get turned off and it disengages all the power to it. That is a little inconvenient as opposed to in a car, you just leave it plugged in, you turn it off, and then you're good to go. So that's a little bit of an inconvenience, makes the product still work though. So with having this little guy just plugged into your bike, one thing you have to keep in mind is if you are in a sketchy area where somebody's gonna be looking at your bike really closely, you gotta worry about this thing because somebody could just walk up and take it off of your bike. For the majority of the time, somebody that's just looking at your bike isn't even gonna be able to tell that this is something that they could pull out, but if a thief or somebody like that is really close to your bike and they're just looking for something to take, you might get this thing stolen if you just leave it in your bike. 
Guys, overall, I'm really excited to start using this thing. I've never had any sort of charging capabilities on any motorcycle I've ever had, so this is really awesome addition to add to the stuff I have on my bike. With the having the constant battery power for a GoPro that I don't even have to carry a battery around with, and the ability to charge my phone while I ride. So guys, that is about it for the Zeus Smart Car Charger, or motorcycle charger in this case. If you guys are interested in this product, I've left links in the description to check it out. Also, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button let me know you enjoyed this type of content. If you didn't like this video, feel free to hit the dislike button, but if you do, I do ask that you let me know in the comments why you disliked it so I can make this content better for you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.